Hey guys, it's Barna here. And in this video, I'm going to show you one of my oldest tips and tricks, and that is how to create global sections with Elementor Pro quickly and easily. So let's get started. The Page Builder Summit 2020 has just finished, and this was one of my uh, tips and tricks on how to speed up your full building process and shave off a lot of time off it. So let's get started. What will you need? You actually need to create two templates and this is only in the very beginning and later on it will save you a ton of time, but I'm going to show you step by step. So first of all, what we need to do is create a new template and let's go with a, you can go with a page or you can go with a section. I prefer to go with a page and let's call it CTA to edit. Just to make sure that uh, we know what is what, I often like to name them appropriately just to make sure that it is easy to find whatever we are going to do in the future. So first things first, let's go into the settings. So that is the bottom left corner and change the page layout to Elementor Canvas just to make sure that everything is being taken out of. And this is something I've noticed from time to time that sometimes it's not refreshing the content properly. And this is the point, and this should be the section that you wish to be able to place on multiple pages, or even if it's just a very long page and you would like to use the same content over and over again, you just need to edit it. So let me get myself out of the way and just quickly create a call to action section for us. I know this is not the pre prettiest option to showcase what we can do, but it will do. This is only a test. So what I have done, I've created a two column section with a heading, some text and a form in the second column, just to make sure that uh, the person can give me their details and I know who to get in touch with uh, afterwards. So when this is done, let's publish it. And as soon as this one is finished, we can go back to the dashboard. Now in the save templates, so templates and save templates, you can see that there is a CTA to edit. And this is something that we are going to use in the future for editing. And now we need to create another template. So this is the second template. Let's add a, another one. Once again, a page in my opinion, but you can go with a section and let's call it CTA to publish. As I mentioned before, you can rename this to whatever you wish to rename it to. Just make sure that you will understand what it is supposed to be. And I'm just going to change it to Elementor Canvas. And all you will have to do, and this is the most important part, is create a single section with a single column. And in the advanced tab, Let's open up the margins and the paddings. Let's change the content width to full width. And for the column inside the section, once again, open up the margins and the paddings. And the next one, let's look for 
a template widget. This is available in Elementor Pro. That is there. And from the left hand side sidebar, let's look for CTA to edit, because that's the one that we would like to have globally available. Now, as you can see, the section has been loaded in. And this is where the magic will happen. As soon as we publish this one, let's have a look on the actual content. I'm not going to place this into an actual page. But if that is what is necessary, let's make it happen. Let's go back to our website. Let's say you already have a page where you can add the template to. I don't. So I will need to import a page. And let's start a new template page. Global section test. I'm just going to import something from the Elementor library or from my own library. And let's look for yeah, let's just go with the restaurant template. We just need something where I can actually show you this trick in action. As soon as it will load in, I'm working on a local host. So sorry if it's taking a longer time than needed. As you can see, all the sections are there. So let's add our CTA. I'm just going to hit the add section uh, button where I would like to place that CTA. Look for your template. And from the my templates, I'm going to add or insert the CTA to publish. So this is the one that we need to place on the page. Uh, no, the information will be okay as it is. As you can see, it is there. Let's publish this page and have a look. Great, we have the CTA in place. Now I'm going back to a previous browser tab or just open the WordPress admin depending on which one you prefer to do. And in the templates saved templates, I'm going to edit the CTA to edit. If you remember, this is the first template we have created to make sure that we have global uh, editing options. So just once again, CTA to edit is the first template I've created. This is the one we are going to edit. And all the edits will be updated globally on the page where you have placed the CTA to publish template, the second template we have created with the Elementor Pro template widget. Let's see it in action. So I'm going to click on edit with Elementor on the CTA to edit the first template. Let's do this and change something. Let's say, let's go with the background color. So the color should be, let's say something really, really green. Just to make sure we are on the uh, page test, it is still using the second template. And as soon as I hit the update, it's supposed to update this template as well. Just one second, let's have a test. As you can see, it has updated it. So in overall, um, if you have placed the second template on five or six different pages or wherever you wish to use, use it, let's say you create a subscription template specifically for your blog post and whatsoever, then you can place them as so. And as soon as you go back to your save templates and edit the first template you created for editing purposes, as soon as you hit the update, it will update the changes on your whole website, wherever you have placed the second template, which is using the Elementor template widget in its place. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the thumbs up or like it. If the other one, it's still fine with me. And make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell just to make sure that you're not going to miss any of my new videos as I'm coming back to the channel and create more and more tutorials in the near future. Until then, have an awesome day and see you soon.